What's going on guys, Greek Freak here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the NCAA Men's Basketball Champions, Virginia. Now their first championship in their school's history. Of course, in this game we had two teams in Texas Tech and Virginia that have never won the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship and both had the opportunity to win it here and win to a great game, but Virginia pulled out in the overtime, just dominating in that overtime. But also with that, Vir Vegas does have Virginia as a favorite, a co-favorites to repeat as far as for the next upcoming season. With tied with Kentucky for the highest odds to win the 2020 season. But I'm not really going to go deep into anything as far as predictions for next season as I always think college is very complex to predict a repeat champion or even the champion of next season considering all the things that have to happen in college basketball, one being health, uh, recruitments, things such as that, that haven't 100% been confirmed for the next upcoming season anyway. So it's really tough to really know how that happens, the changes and improvements of different players. So I'm not going to go deep into anything like that, but I'm definitely going to have to talk about this game and of course the tournament in general. So obviously we expected as far as going into this game to see two defensive minded teams that play very slow paced basketball. And despite the fact that at times, it seemed to have very much moments where teams struggled on the offensive end. We definitely saw, I feel like, more offense than we would have expected. Uh, Three-point shooting was definitely on point for Virginia. And we definitely kept on seeing it. It was a very good game, in my opinion, as far as how it definitely went out. Um, we saw the fact that just Virginia went on runs. And then Texas Tech, whenever you thought Virginia was going to 100% take off or hold the lead, Texas Tech was capable of coming back. And then we definitely saw the fact that when it hit overtime, Virginia just took off, really just knew what they were going to do in very many situations and just played at a great pace. And of course, with that 11-0 run in the overtime, stopped any chances of a Texas Tech comeback. And whenever we think about this, we have to think about, of course, the difficulty of going through an entire tournament. Now, of course, there were controversies throughout the tournament, but I feel like that's lots of the one and done tournaments as far as things go you are talking about basketball where anything can happen and one thing is definitely for sure whenever we think about sports is yeah we think about them now but in the far future we probably will not think about the missed calls or anything like that that end up happening throughout it and especially in games like this but i think the fact that in a situation like this virginia was a very good team obviously only losing three games all season long against very top tier teams as well so whenever we think about this tournament it's obviously was two defensive style teams that actually performed I feel like better on offense than what I would have expected in that situation but as far as the game I thought the game was very good close throughout it all up to the overtime where that sort of went out of hand for Virginia but very much a close back and forth game. I think it's a really great game as far as how that was played out. But guys, of course, I always wanna know what your guys' opinions are about this. What were your thoughts as far as the tournament and even the game in general? Like I mentioned, I think the fact that it was a pretty good game, close, competitive, back and forth, and that was just really great to see with even in overtime. So whenever we sit you there and think about that, I think the fact that it was a really good game. But guys, tell me what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to become part of the Greek Army today. And as always, this is Sparta.